Today we'll make a Valentine or Spring Thrift Flip. Keep watching! We're going to start off with some goodies from Dollar Tree, of course. Here are some roses that I've also used on another project. I'm just going to slide up the greenery and clip those off so they'll be ready for use. I have some lamb's ear pieces. Some of these little rosebuds, which also came from Dollar Tree. I have some of this tube burlap stuff. This little picture came from Dollar Tree. And this is my thrift item. I got it from Goodwill. I paid by the pound. It's probably two pounds. Love this. It's got a couple little spots on it that need to be kind of attended to. So I'm going to just take my sanding block from Dollar Tree and just gently go over this just to remove a couple of the little... I don't know, little scuff marks on it and not make those little, there's a scratch on the bottom there. It's pretty noticeable. So just sand it down a little bit and get rid of some of that. You can use all kinds of stuff to clean up your thrift items. You just read the back and then you can get the right instructions. We're going to take the plastic off of this cute little pic. This was over there with the frames. It's not necessarily Valentine's Day, which I think would also make it a good candidate for a spring DIY. These are wooden beads on the top. So I'm going to kind of get an idea of how I want my items to lay out. And then I'm going to take my hot glue. I am using Gorilla Glue right now because that's what I have. I definitely use cheaper glues and I have used the glue sticks from Dollar Tree and they work fine. Okay, I'm going to place this a little bit closer to the top than the bottom because I want to have some room for my florals and greenery on the bottom. And since it has a kickstand on the back or a stand on the back, you could use it as a frame and set it up if you would like, but I'm going to use this as a hanging piece. I'm going to get two pieces of my lamb's ear and just start placing it down with some other greenery that I have here. I think that is eucalyptus. Maybe. And I'm just going to start hot gluing that down on on this little plank sign and have to hold it a minute or lay something across it so that it sticks down nicely to the frame I'm not gonna do any fast motion in this video so you can kind of get a better idea of how long it takes me to do things Use your finger protectors. You can use a rubber spatula also. There's a makeup spatula, I think it's called, uh, in the makeup section of Dollar Tree that a lot of people are using, but I haven't found any at my, trees yet, at my Dollar Trees yet. Okay, I've just traded that pick out for one that's a little bit closer to the size of the one on the other side to make it more symmetrical. I'm gonna put some glue down there. Hold it for a moment. Then I'm going to use my pliers over there to help hold it in place until it dries down. I'll start figuring out how I want my pieces to go, adding them down to the glue while it is still wet. Careful with your fingers. And to help them stay in place, once I get them where I want them, I'm gonna add a little more glue across the top and a little piece of just some scrap paper that I have over there. Make it like, uh, kind of like a bandage. It's gonna give it some more support and something to hold on to. And it'll stay there and be kind of camouflaged in the back once we get all of our flowers down. You can use pieces of box, top, box tops. You can use pieces of um, the packaging material that your items come out of that you get from Dollar Tree. You know, the little top paper section that's got the labels. Turn them inside out. You can use those. Whatever you need to use for that. 
an old envelope, whatever. All right, I'm just going to start adding my roses here too. Just trying to bend the head of the rose a little bit and then slide the stick part underneath the paper that we put there to make it stick in that glue. And I'm going to add some more greenery on the bottom because like I said, this is going to be hanging. Now, if you wanted this sign to be something that would sit up, you wouldn't want to put all this on the bottom because it would get in the way. But we're going to have ours hanging. Remember with greenery, there are wires and pieces in there that you can move around, you can clip it off, you can get the right size that you like just by trimming up the pieces. Now I'm going to take the little rosebuds and add those in. I'm just going to tuck them around on the right middle side because I want to need a little bit of room on the left side for a bow. This tubing I got at fall, I just had it wound around an old spool that I had, a ribbon spool, uh, to keep it from getting dented, but it's hollow in the center and it looks like burlap. It actually feels kind of like jute or burlap, but it's hollow all the way down like a straw. It's really neat. Just going to make a shoelace bow. You can stop here if this is something you wanted something simple, but I'm going to add a little bit of layering, put a little more dimension in it, fluff it up a bit. So I'm going to make this bow a little smaller than the one that I first made, and then I'm going to make one even smaller than that to go right on top. So we have a three layer bow. I'm sure there's probably an easier way to do this. But for me, this worked just fine. You can do any kind of bow you want to do. Use your bow maker and make something fancier, but for a little rustic romantic look, I think this is very fitting. Just going to take a piece of jute and tie those three sections together right around the middle. Okay, so you see, if I put it there like that, it's going to kind of sink down into my arrangement. So I'm gonna do something that is going to make it stand out just a little bit. So I need something to do that. I'm gonna take one of these little blocks, little wooden block pieces that I got from the crafting section of Dollar Tree. And that's gonna hold it up away from the, the uh, surface underneath. Again, dimension. I've said that word several times already, but I really do want to give it some life. I don't want anything flat. You need something for your eyes to dance over. You want your eyes to dance. Happy little eyes, joyful little heart. Okay, so now I am trimming off just to make these the length that I like. Get them all even or stagger them, whichever way you want to do it. You can maneuver this just a little bit, um, but not a whole lot. And you see, I need to hold that down just a little bit longer until it is stuck down. Probably should have moved that greenery out of the way and put it right down on the base, but I didn't do it in this video. You do whatever works for you. So this is kind of what we're looking at. I think this is gorgeous. Definitely something high-end looking that you could get easily at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, but you would pay so much more than I paid for this gonna make another little shoelace bow to go on the top and use a piece of jute to tie it right in the center of my beaded hanger. The only thing I bought for this that was different than something I already had at home was the little hello love sign that came from Dollar Tree because I've had the thrifty piece and the florals and the jute and the glue everything for a while so not bad for that price not bad at all I'm 
then of course I would hang it on the wall right where that little bow is right there what do you think about this I'm loving the the light colors definitely loving the peachier colors of pink this year and I think it's pretty it's gonna be cute so cute for springtime too I hope you all are well and safe and happy and finding things that bring you joy in 2021. I'm so happy to have all of my subscribers here. Leave me a comment. I will always respond to you as quickly as possible. Consider subscribing if you like budget-friendly decor DIYs. And I will see you again very soon, friends. Bye.